If any country, Ukraine for example, was wondering about Russia's military capabilities, well conveniently there's a display going on right now. Vladimir Putin put two of Russia's four military districts on high alert on Wednesday, land, sea and air power being tested for readiness. Moscow insists the war games aren't connected to events in Ukraine, though NATO issued a warning against escalation. I urge Russia not to take any action that could escalate tension or create misunderstanding. I urge the new Ukrainian leadership to continue its efforts to establish an inclusive political process that reflects the democratic aspirations of the entire Ukrainian people. On the streets of Moscow, there was concern about the heightened tensions, but solidarity with Ukraine's ethnic Russians, particularly those in Crimea. I think Russia should help our Ukrainian friends to get back to normal life. How exactly? I think that political leaders should decide and they shouldn't let fascism take over or anything like what's happening right now. It's just a nightmare. On one hand, they're our brothers, but on the other hand, it can cause an international conflict. It's important to keep the territorial integrity, but we can't leave our friends in trouble. And where is the man who still calls himself Ukraine's rightful president? A Russian newspaper claims that he was spotted here at this rather grand Moscow hotel earlier on in the week. It's rather fittingly known as the Hotel Ukraina. Now, the establishment's management has denied that he's been there recently, but if he was, he's probably moved on now. Maybe to here, a luxury village comes sanatorium on the outskirts of the capital called Barvicha. But if there was any doubt that Yanukovych is in Russia, it was squashed late on Thursday when the state news agency announced that he's to give a press conference in the southern city of Rostov-on-Don at 13 GMT on Friday. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Moscow.